foolish mortals. Welcome Hi. back, everybody. How are you today? Do the thing that you do. And I like, like what you've done with your hair. Those are excellent highlights that you have applied. Oh, shit, Ninja! <laughs> Corvus has one final lesson to teach us. Yay! And it's the uh, five-finger exploding palm technique. Whoa, seriously? Yeah. Really? Not really. I'm done okay. already. Okay, okay, okay. That mod will fill your meter up. For oh, so it's not actually anything new. It's an upgrade. Yeah. The flame. Well, still needed to come get it. 100% completion. That's what we're aiming oh, yeah. for. Yep, uh-huh. And on that note, I'm going to take about nine minutes and 58 <laughs> seconds to uh, go pick up a couple secrets that we now have access to. Sounds like I've got some time to talk about some stupid shit I wanted to talk about then. You sure do, buddy. All right, so the other day I was watching this horror movie on Netflix, and I guess it wasn't really, it was kind of like a thriller thing. It was called... Uh, it was called, like, They Look Like People, or something like that. Oh, yeah, Russ was watching that. He saw it? Okay, have you seen it, then? I have not. Okay. Do you care if I spoil it for you? Because the ending wasn't very good. Yeah, shoot for it, man. I don't okay. give a damn. Spoiler alert for this shitty, like, indie movie that I'm about to tell you about. Um, basically, the, the premise of the movie is that this guy, um, he thinks that, that people's, people are being taken over by, like, these weird bug monster people. But, um, and he's the only one who knows. He's the only one who can hear it. But it's all in his fucking head. Like, in it's reality, serious. man is the weird bug people monster. <laughs> we were the weird bug people <laughs> monsters all along. Yeah, in, in reality, he's fucking crazy. Like, I mean, they don't explicitly say he's crazy, but, I mean, it's they lay it on pretty fucking thick. So, he's pretty much fucking crazy. They want you, the audience, to believe that he's pretty fucking crazy. Yes. So, for the first 60% of this movie, I'm actually kind of okay with it. You know, it's an it's an indie movie, so I'm giving it... A lot of leeway. And I watch it, I'm like, you know what? This is kind of cool. They're doing some cool things here. It's kind of neat. There's some cool sound editing, you know, all this shit. They did a lot of ASMR shit, too, in the movie, which I found mm. really annoying, but made me think of you. <laughs> because I knew you would like it. Most things that are really annoying do make people think of me. <laughs> <laughs> but it gets to the end of the movie, and I don't even know if I can really describe it. I don't want to go into great detail. I just want to say that... Um, the movie just kind of peters out. Like, there's this big, intense moment where someone's going to get their head fucking smashed in, and then they don't, and then they hug, and then the movie's over. Oh, that's nice. No! What, you don't like hugs? This sounds like the best case scenario. <laughs> no, it sucks. It sucks so bad. It was so lame. And, you know, you want, you want there's a lot of buildup in a horror movie. There's a lot of buildup. You really want an explosive ending. And I was thinking about this. I was watching this, and I was thinking about it. And the same thing happened to me with the fucking Babadook movie and, like, a lot of these, like, indie low-budget horror movies and even high-budget horror movies where the ending of it will just kind of be lame. It just peters out. And here's the thing. Here's the thing about this. I don't know of a way that you can really finish a horror movie in a way that I personally would like. Hmm. Because what I like about a horror movie is that buildup, that tension, that psychological aspect that builds up to the end of the movie. You know, so then it doesn't matter how the tension's broken; it's broken, and you don't like it. Exactly. Now, I this is a personal problem for me. I know a lot of people are picky about horror movie endings, but I, I can't. I, maybe there are some, but I can't really think of a horror movie that built up in a way that really ended in a way that I thought was, you know, perfect. What about Blair Witch? It just kind of stopped, so... <laughs> well, that's basically... That's what happens a lot of time. You have Blair Witch and this fucking movie I was just talking about. And, well, Babadook wasn't like that, but... Mm. It did have a climax. It just was dumb. <laughs> the thing I didn't like about the Babadook was... Um, I was watching Cinemassacre, the uh, angry video game nerd guy. Mm -hmm. He was doing his Halloween horror movie, uh, Monster Madness, which I fucking love. If you guys haven't seen that, Seriously, go check it out. There's tons of them. There's one for like every year all the way back to like 2006 or some shit. And it's really worth checking out. I really like it a lot. Anyway, he was talking about the Babadook and he was like, he was like, the one thing I really didn't like about the movie was the fucking Babadook. Like, why should I be afraid of it? It never does anything. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, that's exactly why I don't like that movie. This is nothing to be afraid of. It doesn't do anything. It's just there to wear a top hat and, you know, be on the ceiling. <laughs> You know, I can, top I can hat? hire a hobo that does that. <laughs> I don't need to. Yeah, I didn't know it wore a top hat. Yeah, there you a top are, hat. you little shit. Have you guys seen that movie? 
Pendleton, give me my goddamn bag. No, I've never seen the Babadook. The uh, name alone kind of shook me off of it. Oh, you don't like the name? It sounds very stupid. You know what? It has it has highlights, but um, the little kid in it is too annoying, and um, I the monster's nothing to be afraid of. There's some cool artwork though, and there's like a pop up book that's done really well, and the actress who played the mom in that did a really good job. Oops. Other than that, whatever. Anyway, I'm th- I was watching this movie, and I, it occurred to me I don't really think there's a way to finish a horror movie in a way that I'm gonna like, it, which is why you know how I'm always talking about that paradigm shift shit. Where I want it to go from a horror movie to an action movie. Mm -hmm. That's what I want. I think that's the only way you can end a horror movie for me in a way that I think will be interesting. You go from having it be this really terrifying psychological thriller to being a straight up like full on fucking action movie for the second half of it. I think that's the only way that I'll like it. I think that's why I'm always fucking talking about that. All right. So I I hope one day someone will do that. Well, most of your slasher flicks end like that. Yeah, but I'm not talking about, like, the slasher aspect. I'm talking about, like... Well, you can't really go whole hog machine gun on a ghost, dude. Yeah, but there are things you can go whole hog machine gun on, like, you know... Like Jason and, and, and Michael Myers, yeah. Yeah, but... Slashers. Those aren't... That's not quite what I'm talking about. They stay as a... The slasher genre is its own horror genre. And even at the end part where they're fighting each other, there's still that kind of suspense aspect to it where, you know, the main character who's going to you know, the last one who's going to live or not or whatever is, you know, still fighting for their life and struggling and all that. So this this is this slasher horror aspects to it. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like fucking what's a good example of a like paranormal activity to the Avengers, like that <laughs> level of sweat. I'm not talking about a slasher. I'm talking about like Full on, like switch, like, like imagine halfway through. Have you ever seen Paranormal Activity? Yeah, you made me watch most of those movies. Okay, good. <laughs> you made me watch yes, most of those. Yes, movies. they're all really good. <laughs> okay, not no. only have I seen them all, but I've seen them all with you. That's the only reason I've saw them. <laughs> I maintain that almost all those movies have at least one thing that is made that makes them worth seeing. <laughs> anyway, anyway, imagine you know, they're like halfway through that movie, and then halfway through they like pull the demon out of the demon realm and some like Van Helsing motherfucker shows up and then it just turns into this fucking you know 45 minute long action movie after that like total setting switch everybody's in costumes <laughs> like just a full fucking switch like from Paranormal Activity to Blade hmm. that's what I want that's what I want to see <clears throat> I feel like that's the only way I will uh, ever appreciate that because, you know... I mean, I'll agree with you that most horror movies end pretty weakly. I'm trying to think of some that I actually liked. But, you know, see, the thing is, they either end abruptly or without anything happening or with everything going horribly wrong or they end too well. Or everything going horribly right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And... Uh, you just I, listed, like, every possible movie ending for any possible movie. No, 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 there's one I left out. <laughs> I was going to say, I think the best horror movies, the horror movies that have the best endings are the ones that end with a twist ending that you don't see coming. I feel like those are the best one. Or at least, if, even if you don't see it coming, it's just a twist ending. Like, um, what's that movie? I think it was Nicole Kidman. The Others? Ugh. Yeah, so, spoiler alert for that movie, they were the ghosts the whole time. <laughs> it was really them. Yeah. Yeah, so a lot of people like that movie for that. I liked it at the time. I appreciated the twist to it. Uh-huh. Kind of. But we kind of called it, like, while we were watching the movie. Uh-huh. I mean, that's one of those... That's the danger of a twist ending, is if you see it coming, the movie's not as good. Like all those people who knew that Bruce Willis was a ghost. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. All those people who figured it out, like, partway through the movie, you know, they were like, okay, well, now I know. I don't really need to watch the rest of this. So, I don't know. That's uh, Even that is a flawed sort of thing. So I don't know. I don't know. But I don't really care as much about endings to action movies or other kinds of movies, but for some reason I care more about the ending to a horror movie. No hmm. idea why. And you can't think of a good way to end it, huh? Just if they switch it to an action movie. That's the only way I, I could think of. But most of the time in a horror movie, you're only fighting one thing. Yeah. You're not usually dealing with legions of shit unless it's a zombie thing. And then they very much do switch to an action movie at some point. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of the time. Yeah. 
A lot of zombie movies are good for that, actually. Yeah. Yep. Fuck, okay. <laughs> this doesn't really count as a horror movie, I don't think, but Eight-Legged Freaks, <laughs> I think is a pretty good example of what I'm talking about. All right. Damn, the fucking theme song for that movie is eternally stuck in my head. Oh, Jesus. I have long forgotten how Eight-Legged Freaks you works. Are, you were. Like, I watched it once when I was, like, 12 or whatever. Yeah. Fuck, who was the mom in that? She was mm. super hot. I don't remember. I'm gonna look it up. I mean, it was spiders, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they, they were the eight like, free. Yeah, it was giant spiders. Yeah, and they were terrorizing this little town. Yeah. Man, I sure hope this kills that guy. Eight legged freaks, because I just, for some reason, I can't get this fucking movie out of my life. But that one ended with, um. Well, you keep bringing it up. That's not the movie's fault. <laughs> it's just in my head. They, that movie ended with them in like a mall and they, you know, decided to go, you know, balls out and fight those guys. 5.4 out of 10 on IMDb. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's not a very high mark. Kari Wurr, that was the mom. I don't know her. What else is she in? She was in something else that I. She was in Anaconda. Hmm. Jennifer Lopez? She was the other one. She was the one who got eaten halfway through. Spoilers for Anaconda. <laughs> <laughs> the episode in which we ruin every horror franchise. Yeah, what other movies can we say the endings to real quick? Uh, the remake of Dawn of the Dead. They all died. What? You gotta watch it post-credits. Oh. Man, everything post-credits down. <laughs> all right, that was some... before it really dug in with that, though. There's something else I'd like to continue saying. Shall we continue it next time? Um, one quick thing. <gasps> Hot dog costume! Oh. John, I think I know what... Or you know what I need you think to do future me go